Gymshark over here testing our limits with the new Limitless collection. Gymshark started teasing these pieces very subtly at the end of March. Fast forward, it's now the end of May. They kept you in the dark for months, man. <laughs> no indication of when this was dropping, what else to expect in the collection. Not a single word was uttered. Not a peep on the streets. It wasn't until a couple of days ago when they reached out and they finally gave us all the information we need. That is why we're here today to discuss this new Limitless collection, AKA the new Apex. There, I said it, I said it. Those are Gymshark's words, not my own. And you guys know me from my previous Apex videos, I am a fan of this collection. Actually a huge fan of the Apex collection. I still have tons of pieces that I wear regularly. I always thought the vibe was super futuristic, very sporty. It's obviously seamless, so you know that has my heart. But needless to say, the Limitless is um, pretty polarizing in some ways. Now we all know that Gymshark loves to experiment. They've been like this since day one, but with heavy experimentation obviously comes difference in opinions. From the feedback that I've gauged so far, far because I've been teasing these sets and stories. I warm to the gym. I got a story to tell you. <laughs> you guys are seriously on one side of the fence or the other. I actually posted a poll in Instagram stories asking you, would you wear this? Like, would you wear this set to the gym? Yeah, you're nay. And well, I think it's safe to say numbers don't lie. I've also gotten some seriously good feedback as well. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. And guys, thank you so much. You have been awesome in showing your your support. In case you don't know, I do have my code Ashley G that saves you 10% off of all Gymshark orders. This is also a huge way to support the channel. It really helps to strengthen my relationship with Gymshark, which in turn keeps these videos coming your way. We love reviewing things before the launch so you know what you're looking at, all right? On launch day, you're not in there clueless, like where am I and what is this? So definitely hit that subscribe button. Up next, we have a little more subtle pieces to show. We have new Elevate, new Legacy, tons of accessories. It's a pretty big deviation from what we're about to talk about today. All right, so if you need more calm pieces, then definitely hit that subscribe button up next in just a couple of days from now, we will have that big Gymshark haul coming. Before anything, what I'm about to share with you in today's video, I gotta say this, this is US based only. For example, you're gonna see I actually don't have any leggings in today's haul. But if you check out their site, they've been really plugging the hell out of it. So needless to say, I was super disappointed when I didn't see the leggings because you know me, I'm more likely to wear leggings than shorts. Now that's not to say they'll never be available in the US, but as of right here, right now, I cannot speak to it. So this collection will be launching Thursday, May 25th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if you've noticed, I know I have. The second it turns 11 a.m. EST, I'm hitting gymshark.com and I'm noticing like, where the frig is it? Anybody else? I noticed that they're good for like 15 minutes in. <laughs> then all of a sudden, everything pops up. This is their way of being fashionably late. I actually do think they just space it out so the website doesn't get overwhelmed, but so everything is in my true size small today. Measurements are right here. I'll also have them in the description box below. Here's what we're looking at with the new Limitless collection. Limitless, the new apex. The Limitless girl trains for performance and needs a wardrobe that can keep up with her. She'll be the one with the slicked back bun, sprinting on the treadmill and crushing supersets. So out of the gate guys, they make it very clear. This is gym wear, gym performance. We're looking at three colors launching. Black, sun-dried red, slash terracotta pink, and truffle brown. We have sports bras, seamless camis, shorts, and the infamous long sleeve crop top. You guys were going buck wild in all different ways about that long sleeve. So according to the brief, it looks like the sports bras are coming in all three colors. The camis are only coming in the black and the terracotta. Shorts are coming in all three colors and that long sleeve crop is only coming in black. Now Gymshark has this little naughty habit of saying these pieces will come in certain colors and then all of a sudden on launch day, you'll see something random like a freaking teal or something. And you're just like, where did that come from and why? I think we need to start with a long sleeve top because is that why you're here? <laughs> When I first saw the brief and I saw this particular piece, I was like, I need it, right? Wow, this is different. This is crazy. And then I wore it to the gym 
I felt just a little bit awkward, slightly insecure. I'm not ready for it. I actually got some people saying, oh my God, I love it. I don't care what anyone else says, I love it and I need it. Then I got other people saying, you look like a clown. What is this Halloween costume? Which by the way, Halloween's my favorite, so that's not a diss. Bottom line is there's so many mixed reviews on this. So here's my take. First of all, this thing, this thing, <laughs> is incredibly comfortable off the bat. I got some gals saying, oh, it doesn't look like it's gonna hold up. You do a shoulder press and those shoulders are just gonna, it's just gonna move all over the place. It did not. I did a lot, a lot of upper body in this baby and it did not budge. It didn't move. The only thing that moved a little bit was this high neck. It wrinkled up a little bit, but those sleeves stayed put. That was a little bit impressive because, I mean, look at this cutout, it's insane. Now, half of me felt very, very badass in this. I was like, damn, this is a pretty dope, badass superhero look, which is definitely how I felt in the Apex collection. But there was also half of me that felt a little bit weird because this is so eccentric. This is so out there and different. In terms of this collection as a whole, aesthetic-wise, you have a ton of tonal, contoured lines, a lot of geometric shapes. Again, reminiscent of the apex, they did a lot of those triangular designs. Now we're a little more squared off rectangular. Another big thing I liked about apex is their quality. I thought it was very gym friendly, very good for getting rough and tough at the gym. Something that this collection definitely mimics, which I'll get into in just a second. But back to this long sleeve, it's extremely stretchy and very, very soft. I wore this without a bra. Let me indulge you in one of the most embarrassing moments ever at the gym. I don't know what possessed me to wear it without a bra. I guess I wanted to actually see it for what it was without any straps or anything underneath hindering that shoulder bare feeling. I was sagging, dude. Like even with my 34 Bs, I was not okay. I actually had a few people like do a double take and that's how I knew I said, I'm in trouble here. There's no support in this, not even a little bit. And to add insult to injury, the way that this kind of shears out, you could see some skin underneath. <laughs> Wear a bra under this. Everything they sell with this, they have two different tops you could put underneath it. You gotta put one of them underneath it or a bra you have, you can't wear this solo. Forget about it. So don't think this piece is doomed, you can still technically make it work. I think if you're in between sizes here, you can get away with sizing down given it's crazy stretch. I mean, it's one of those like funny stretches because it's funny how stretchy it is. But other than that, I would say it's very true to size. If you really want to catch some attention, this will do it. And there's really nothing wrong with that. It depends on your own personality and who you are. Moving on to the actual sports bras. I got one in each color. The straps that go around the shoulders and to the back are not adjustable. However, around the band, you do have a hook and eye closure. I do have to say out of all of these pieces, these bras are rougher in texture. Tends to rub a little bit on the skin. Not totally uncomfortable. I did work out in the black sports bra and it was a-okay. I was fine. It didn't cause any rug burn or anything like that. But do keep in mind, I have all these pieces. These are definitely the roughest. These do not have removable pads. This is a molded sports bra. So the cups are molded. They don't go anywhere. I would definitely say this is better support if you have bigger breasts. I mean, for me, I didn't quite fill these out. Ultimately, I do think I could have gotten away with sizing down. My busts would have filled it out a little bit better. And given that there's a hook and eye closure, I think I would have been okay around the underbust. So these straps are very thick, really good for intense workouts. The support is there. I'd give it a medium to high, depending on your bust size. I think it's good that they added in a bra for those who require or prefer a little more support, especially given, you know, you might be doing some more intense workouts with these pieces. But for my gals like myself who prefer to low support, that's where this cami comes in. Now these camis only come in two colors. Again, the terracotta I'm wearing now and the black. That dark gray contour on the black is much more noticeable than the terracotta pink, which you can barely see. So you want something more subtle, go with the terracotta pink. Now, the cool thing about this cami is it does have a built-in shelf bra. However, there's no option to insert bra pads. So it only is the double layer. That's it. That's all you're working with is the shelf bra and then the top layer. I think ultimately, I would feel okay wearing this to the gym. I'd obviously have that option of having a sweater with me in case it got chilly, if you catch my drift. You won't see through it like that long sleeve. So you have a very basic scoop neckline. The backing comes up ever so slightly. It's a semi high to low. It's very subtle, but it's there. It's a little bit longer in the front, higher in the back. 
you do have adjustable straps here. What's cool is they actually added in swan hooks that can be taken out from the back and crisscrossed. So you do have options for multiple styles, which I like. When I wore the cami straight up, it felt a little bit big. I was like, damn, I should have sized down. Even when adjusting the straps, I felt like the placement might shift, might move. When I adjust these straps and I crisscross them in the back, it fits me better up top. It's a little bit tighter, a little more form fit, not something to do anything intense in by all means. That's what the other bras there for, but it is good that they added in some options within this range. It's safe to say this is what I'm going with. The cami's super cute wearing as is if you're lounging, but to the gym though, you know me, I'm a mother tucker. When in doubt, tuck it. You know, it's easier because you have that built-in shelf bra, so it'll really stay put. So if you got smaller breasts or you prefer more of a naked feel, go with the cami. If you got larger breasts, you need higher support, you really prefer feeling firm and put together up top, check out the sports bras. Dear Gymshark, listen, I love you, but you can't tease the leggings and not deliver. Where the frig are they? Y'all better be in the works right now. And if not, and if you see this video, you best be like, oh shit, let's get it gone. <laughs> Two step. I wore the shorts to the gym. Now, I don't like wearing shorts to the gym if I don't have to. If it's between shorts and leggings, I'm always, always and forever gonna go with leggings. That's what I feel more comfortable with. Nevertheless, I wore the black ones. So there's some pros and cons when it comes to these shorts. Let's talk about, let's talk about the cons first, get that out of the way, shall we? These are super gym friendly shorts. Mine is the fact that they're a bit sheer. Especially, especially, not especially, especially, the terracotta pink. At first I couldn't tell. I was like, okay, those are either my booty cheeks showing through or it's just the shiny material. I don't know, which one is it? Because you and I both know very well that in some leggings and shorts, when the material stretches out, it gets very shiny, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's sheer. So I wasn't quite sure. So what I did was I put on nude undies and black undies. So you're gonna see in this overlap, side by side, I am wearing nude brief underwear and black brief underwear. Now, obviously when wearing these, I'm going to wear a nude seamless thong, but just for the sake of transparency, see what I did there? I wanted to make sure you guys could see firsthand just how sheer or not sheer they are. So terracotta pink, pretty freaking sheer. When standing, you can still see a little bit in the brown and black. When squatting, that's where you can really start to tell, okay, these are pretty sheer. Even when just plainly standing, you can see right around my legs and glutes, the material does sheer out and shine. Now don't get it twisted when you're wearing just a seamless thong, preferably nude, that's where it's okay. For me, with a nude seamless thong, wearing these to the gym, I did, I felt fine. But do keep in mind, if you're somebody who has tattoos in that region or a bigger booty than mine, it will sheer out. Speaking of glute aesthetic, there is a raised seam contour to break up the glutes. It's very subtle. This is not a scrunch bump. This does not separate the glutes like I prefer, but it's not terrible. Now I'm a little dramatic because like I love full on glute separation. Not everybody does, I get that. I'm just kidding, I don't get that. But, <laughs> but it does give a little bit of a uni butt. I feel like this design is giving serious race car designs. Do you feel that too? Almost like NASCAR, the flags or whatever. I don't watch NASCAR. It gives a very Grand Prix Mario Kart vibe and that I do know a lot about. Me as Toad, I own Rainbow Road. By the way, comment down below if you saw the new Super Mario movie, have you? I'm debating on buying it off of Amazon Prime, but it gets me so pissed when I already pay a membership to things and then they make you buy things on top of it. It's like, dude, just give me the damn movie. Stop playing games, what the hell? What do I pay you for? Now, what do we think of the contour placement? I personally love it, all right? I personally dig where this is placed. I like that it highlights the torso area. All right, no one's talking me out of that. I like it and I felt good wearing this particular design. Now you do have a real beautiful compressive waistband. I would give it moderate, nothing too high support. These are fairly true to size, but if you're in between, you might wanna consider sizing up. I mean, I, it could only help you in the sheerness department, right? What I do like now, here's the real pros when it comes to these shorts. Worked out in the black shorts, they don't roll up. These shorts do not roll up on me. I got no dreaded CT. These are so camel toe friendly. Is that even how you say it? 
Camel toe friendly. These are very cellulite friendly as well. And best of all, it does not show sweat. Even on the terracotta, it was not bad. It was barely there. I had to really search for it. So, sweat friendly, cellulite friendly, camel toe friendly. These have a five inch inseam. Not too short, not overly long like biker shorts. They do not cinch in uncomfortably. I feel like the chocolate color, this truffle brown, is definitely slightly more compressive than say the black and the terracotta pink. These two have a little bit less compression, don't ask why. These shorts are pretty breathable, but most importantly, they're very comfortable, right? They're not digging in uncomfortably. The waistband's not overly compressive where it's sandwiching me in. Overall, very, very comfortable gym shorts. I will absolutely give them that. Aside from the design, which is preferential, you either love it or you don't, these would have been 10 out of 10 if only they were squat proof. If that's something you can look past, then I think you're really gonna like these, especially if you are a fan of this contour. It's your turn. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on the new Limitless collection, AKA the new Apex? Do you like it more or less than the Apex? I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of similarities, I really do, like the tonal solid bras to match with the designs on the leggings and shorts. There's a lot to like, there really is. I think functionality for the gym, it's pretty spot on. So comment down below, are you shopping this collection or are you gonna pass? There's no right or wrong answer here. I mean, I hope you like it, but if not, that's totally cool. That's why we're here to share each other's opinions, get a feel for what we're looking at, review these collections before they launch so you know firsthand what you're getting yourself into. So definitely hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss out on what we have next. I hope you guys found this review helpful and if you did, don't forget to use code AshleyG at checkout to save you 10% and to help support this channel. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. Blooper reel. Let's go ahead and start with this long sleeve, shall we? I don't even know how to hold this thing, really. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys found this review helpful and if you did, don't forget my code Gator. no, Ashley G. To the gym, I need my rib cages exposed. Cage? Cages? No, I have one rib cage. I have two rib cages. How many rib cages? <laughs> I mean, there's one with multiple ribs. <laughs> okay. I will shell shock the shit out of you. I totally lost my train of thought. No, that's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> a rant ends now.